hello everyone and welcome back so in this video let's finish the restaurant dish service we already have a restaurant dish controller which we have created in the previous video now we will build the, the restaurant dish apis like onboarding the dish update delete and all so what do we have here we have already created a controller so let's talk about the service methods one by one so here we are talking about the create dish where we are passing user params and payload create this we got the the restaurant id so what we are doing is we are doing a find one if the restaurant exists otherwise uh, we will just say that restaurant doesn't exist and we will send a not found exception this is what we do like uh, we are going to onboard the dishes on the restaurant so we are going to write a simple method here validate authorization what it will do is it can do two things first it will check okay do we have the restaurant with this id if yes then check the authorization that user uh, is the owner of this uh, restaurant or not so create dish we already uh, are getting the restaurant id in the params so we can call this method so what we will do is this method is going to return as the restaurant await validate authorization and what it is asking us the user which is of user metadata what of an user okay i will just pass user metadata and then next argument it will have is the params what i'm doing so okay user and then here i have a param which is of type restaurant param dto okay what validate authorization will do is it will just check do we have this restaurant available with this id so how we can do it we can just call this dot restaurant repo dot find one because we want just a single object with this id where close id simple type orm uh, find by id and how we get id here is through the params so here we got the id and we are just checking do we have restaurant with this id yes so what we will do is if we don't get the restaurant then we can simply say throw new not found exception and just send a customized message restaurant with this id not found and you can just pass the id also let's say if the restaurant is there then we will do this check user we got the user id and if this is not equal to there not equal to this then we will just throw forbid an exception otherwise if everything is good we will return the restaurant so validate authorization is doing a find restaurant by id validating the authorization and then returning the restaurant so if we are able to get after this line that means there is no exception thrown you have authorizations restaurant id exists we have the restaurant with that so we are good so this method if we are going to write on most of the places where we are doing a update restaurant dish delete restaurant dish and all because we need to check this authorization at every other place then uh, we got the restaurant so what we are going to do here is uh, we have this method create restaurant dish again we are passing what payload user restaurant object and the query runner because if you see restaurant this entity we have this restaurant which is of type restaurant entity because the restaurant dish belongs to a, a, a restaurant so it is many to one i mean many restaurant dish will belongs to a one restaurant we have this primary key foreign key relationship here and this is our restaurant dish service so create method is kind of uh, done now what we will do is uh, we can just talk about the other methods update dash delete dash and all 
so let's talk about update dish so i will somewhat copy this method so in update dish what we are getting we can just copy what all payload inputs we have is in the update dish we are getting the user params params has two ids uh restaurant id and the dish id so types have changed now params type is different update this item param and this is the payload now things look good update dish so we we are going to get two things here so if from the params we are getting the id doing the validate authorization that is still valid i mean we have to do it we are still getting the restaurant id so we will do the validate authorization and this will give us the restaurant that means whatever the id you are passing that is correct and then another internal logic we need to add is we also need to check if this particular restaurant or oh sorry dish id really exist so this we are going to get from params what happened restaurant param dto it has two properties id and okay update this item param dto going to service update this item param dto update this so here we are going to have two properties dish id and id id is a restaurant id which we don't need here and for the dish id also we can just do a simple check this is just a simple find by id right so we can write a simple method here which will just check okay this particular dish exists or not find dish by id so what we are going to pass is a simple id string and this is going to use this restaurant dish repo find one where where id equal to this and this is going to be a dish if we go, don't find a dish restaurant dish with this id not found otherwise return this dish so we are going to call this find a dish by id after doing validate authorization in the update because this is the dish which i want to update this dot find dash by id and we are having dash id okay i got the dash object which i wanted to update so there are many ways to do it we don't need a query runner for this so i will just remove this thing because we are only updating a particular dish okay so now what we can do is await this dot restaurant dash repo restaurant dash repo dot save because we already have a dish id right so what how the save works is if you already have id it will update the record so we already have id which is dish dot id and the remaining payload which we are passing from the request so this is what we are going to get from the update so this is just a simple update dish and why this error is coming let's see domain module because currently we have only one module this repository is not a provider so let's see our code what have we done in the domain module okay we have both the services controllers both the services that's good all the entities but here we missed the uh, missed putting this entity here because we are using the repositories restaurant this entity and it should fix everything now we are able to the application working and this is restaurant controller restaurant dish service so what other methods do we have so this is delete that can be done quickly 
and then this is id give me all the restaurants get all dash by restaurant and this is delete dish delete dishes delete simple dish one dish so let's define this method it is taking a, a user and the parents so restaurant dish service what do we are what are we passing is an id I need to switch every time. Okay, these are the two inputs we are passing to this. This is params. Okay, so get dish by restaurant. Here, what we will do is first of, I mean, this is going to be a public API. Maybe in future, so we'll just get the the restaurant ID, and here we can simply return the records return await this dot uh, restaurant dish repo so here restaurant dish repo find we need to use pass where close and in the restaurant dish repo restaurant dish entity we have this restaurant relationship right so what we can do is simply go to where close and here we can say restaurant and we wanted to match with the id relationship okay we already have the restaurant id here so it is going to do a find all the dishes for this restaurant now i restarted uh, my both the applications restaurant service and the uber eats sorry eats user service we can just play around so this is our use auth service i got the token so this token copy and paste I and mean, this is just existing user which we created in the last video authorized everything is good here i created a restaurant first let's create it so here we got the restaurant id copy this restaurant id and we can create a dish so here dish post and we are passing some random payload right with whatever is required name description category and all and we are able to create a dish so this is the dish id and this is the restaurant id so now the dish has been created for this restaurant can we also fetch all of these so i can get all the the dishes from this restaurant by passing the restaurant id you can see it is going to give you you can create a multiple dish and it will give you all the dishes of this restaurant it depends like what you are returning here this will give you all the dish what you can do is you can combine the restaurant and the dishes in some fashion so dishes i got all the dishes and what i can return from here is return restaurant we already have and the dishes right so you are getting the restaurant object and the dishes both now let's try this so here we got the restaurant object and the dishes or you can just do the nesting of it restaurant we already have inside the restaurant object just do the restaurant dot dish and return it in whatever the way you like okay so this is how we have written the simple apis delete api is only the left one but that is also seen update and delete so here delete dish we will have just uh, update dto here which will have both the ids we won't have the payload so restaurant we will check okay the red dish id exists and then Think that is a destroy or remove restaurant dish repo and we just need to pass the id why it is complaining
So sync delete dish. We are just deleting it. Okay, so this is my update. This is my delete. We don't need to return anything because delete dish is just all about deleting it and we will just return null from this. So go to this controller and we can comment out. It is actually returning null, returning nothing. Okay, so this is all about what we have for the dish APIs. Now we can test it, we can just do all the checks. Now we will just do a couple of more controllers and services for the liking the dish and liking the, the restaurant that I can do and then we will move further on the search APIs.